Hi and welcome to another in our short videos looking at the work of contemporary economists. This time we focus on Professor Linda Yu. Linda Yu is an economist with a reputation for, for truly understanding the fast changing world economy and in particular key economic and political developments in China. Indeed she is the director of the Chinese Growth Centre at Oxford University and over recent years she has written and published extensively on the sources of Chinese growth and competitiveness since 1979 and how the Chinese model will aim to avoid the country from hitting the middle income trap. You can see from this quote here that uh, Yu argues that China to sustain and rebalance their growth will require not only technological and human capital improvements but also reform of rule of law and the role of the state. China's economy at the moment is in a transition phase can see here from the annual rates of growth of, of real GDP, growth targets are being shaved. China is transitioning from a growth that's driven by factor inputs, huge levels of investment, for example, towards growth more driven and determined by innovation and higher productivity. Linda Yu takes a long term perspective on China. She argues that the reform and transition process that could lift China to high income status will take several decades. Indeed, she blocks out those decades into three. By 2020, China needs to have made significant progress in restructuring and rebalancing their economy. Less reliance on exports and investment, increased reliance on household consumption. China needs to become more self-sufficient as an economy. By 2030, China needs to have made huge progress in lifting innovation and productivity as the key drivers of growth one of the main factors that prevents countries escaping the middle income trap. And by 2040, a generation away, but uh, progress needs to be made. China needs to build strong and stable institutions, particularly legal, financial and perhaps democratic institutions. So the Chinese economy is one that's worth studying in detail. A lot of countries slow down in growth as they reach a certain level of GDP per capita. Countries such as Taiwan and Singapore and Korea and Hong Kong and Japan have escaped the middle income trap. Can China do the same? I strongly recommend you follow Linda Yu on Twitter. She's an outstanding tweeter on all kinds of economic issues. And she's at Linda Yu. Some great content there. But most of all, I hope you follow the work of Linda Yu, one of the best economists around at the moment on the Chinese economy.